What's up, everybody? My name is Akshat. I'm a senior software engineer at RCCM, and I'm also a mentor at Boss Coder Academy. Today we have Sumitha with us, and we want to know all about her journey on how, on how she got into Jubilant Foodworks. And she she was a student at Boss Coder Academy, so we are here to talk about her feedback and about her journey on how how did she perform, what for what was strategy like, and and different different things about Sumitha's journey. So very very welcome to you, Sumitha, on the platform. How are you today? I'm good, Akshat. How are you? I'm doing good as well, Sumedha. Thank you for asking. So, I first of all, Sumedha, could you uh, introduce yourself to everyone, please? Sure, Akshat. So, I have around two plus four years, uh, eight years of experience, and with eight years, I worked with various company like Make My Trip, Times Internet, IHS Market, and currently, recently, I've joined Jubilant Foodworks as technical lead. So, okay. that's about my experience. Many congratulations, Sumedha, on joining Jubilant Foodworks. Like it's an amazing, amazing yeah. company, obviously. So, uh, yeah. you joined as a technical lead, right? How how does it feel? Yes. Could you maybe elaborate about yeah. that? Yeah. So this is the first time I've joined as a technical lead. So I'll be leading a team, and there would be some people who I've gonna mentor. And obviously, you know, uh, while mentoring, also you get to learn a lot of things because right. everyone is coming from different companies, different domains, and different tech stacks. so you get to learn a lot uh, from them as well so i think it would be a really good experience in me uh, with me you know uh, having a tech tech lead position even i want to test myself like how would i behave if i have given the project uh, on my own and i have to handle a team as well so it would be a good experience i think okay well i wish you all the best and i hope you have an amazing experience here at jubilant foodworks so yes. all the best and congratulations once again on that smita thank you Cool. So, uh, could you maybe tell us about what exactly were your struggles you were facing before joining Boss Coder Academy? Sure. Uh, so, I would say like uh, when I thought of making a change, like you know, like I wanted to change a company. So, the first thought that I had was, you know, okay, how to prepare for DS algo? <laughs> okay. Because that is something I always kind of I have a fear of kind of a DS algo. i wasn't very good i was i had a basic knowledge about ds algo but i was not very good i never had a very good concepts uh, around it but uh, so that's when i heard about the boss coder academy and then i came to know you know you know uh, how they teach everything from the scratch and so i just thought you know it would be a better opportunity for me to go for this kind of course so right. that was the only purpose of for me to joining boss coder and like needless to say it served the it served mm. the purpose quite quite rightfully for you yes right? yes 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 the course is amazing i mean the ds algo everything uh, frankly i never you know in uh, earlier i never you uh, did this lead code questions okay. i had heard about it but i was never in practice i always used to you know uh, see some of the geeks for geeks question and just you know see the solution never used to practice them actually but uh, with boss coder academy i actually came to know the importance of you know practicing practicing it on computer itself right you know when you write the code you uh, you remember the concepts more clearly right uh, if you are writing it uh, and you are running it then you are able to get the edge cases also right and uh, the kind of concepts they teach uh, and some of the concepts got so clear that you know uh, uh just by seeing the question you know that okay yeah, yeah this is the answer like you know this is uh, the you know this is the way to go so they teach you some of the concepts you know if this kind of question comes then you know this is the way to go and it actually works right uh so i think and the kind of competition spirit we get every day they are giving assignments and they are giving the the leader boards where you know we are having this kind of competition like how many people have solved how many problems and so i think it's kind of a back to school uh, college kind of a thing uh, mm-hmm. where you know interacting with so many people and getting to learn something awesome yeah so that's yeah. i think the the major emphasis on uh, in the entire curriculum is to get their intuition built up right because if you have that yes. right, you can solve any problem out there yes that's true right 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 so sumedha could you maybe tell me how exactly did you get to know about boss coder academy and maybe it's uh, could you stress a little bit on what was it one point like you mentioned about ds algo right so apart from ds algo mm-hmm. was there anything else also on which you wanted to focus on which made you join in the the academy in the first place uh so i talked to a friend 
she is also mentor in uh, boss coder i didn't know that she was a mentor in boss coder okay so i just had a uh, she, i used to work with her in make my trip so i just had a word with her you know how did you prepare for ds algor how did you prepare for system design questions so she told me you know there are ample of uh, material on online as well but you know you don't get that consistency it is right. always that you work you uh, you know you learn one day and then for two days you skip Right. you don't get that kind of consistency and you are and you still have to you know search for every concept like if you want to clear your gra- graphs concept then you have to uh, check okay which website should i go you know which uh, videos are better to go for so she told me uh, and uh, she told me you know just uh, check the curriculum just go for some trial classes and if you like it just go for it and uh, so i think uh, the kind of mentorship they provide is also a very good thing because mm-hmm. i uh, when i joined jubilant i had several offers so i was a bit confused where to go and which one to join so the kind of mentor they provided me it was really good because uh, you know he told me you know what factor you should look in for and uh, and after talking to him i got to know okay yeah you know i never uh, thought in terms of you know uh, that thing, right that right, you know right. what yeah yeah in in the time of selection so i think and the kind of uh, alumni also i think they build the kind of connections also we get because uh, many of the people are working in a great companies and you get to meet them you get to know okay what they are working on and even if you can help them you know if you want to refer yourself through them that is also a good option right so i think yeah that was a so i just uh, went for the trial classes and i liked the course and that's how it goes okay and actually it's it's quite quite wonderful for you know people who get on mm. because uh, mm. obviously people are putting in so much back into the society by you know making their own playlists and uh, road maps yeah. and all these things but yes. generally a person tends to get confused like where should we go right? yes that's the question yes so i yes. think it definitely does provide a one stop solution to all the different different problems and they cater each and everything yes. in detail over here right yes right that's true, true. All right, all right. Thank you so much for answering that, Sameera. Let's move on to the next question. Can you maybe elaborate a little bit more about the curriculum? How exactly did it uh, did the curriculum help you to achieve this uh, job at Jubilant Foodworks? Okay. Uh, so as I told, you know, uh, like they start from the very basics. Like they'll start. Uh, so even if I never thought, you know, uh, even basics uh, can be tricky at some times. Right. So. Uh, Uh, i think they start from the basics and they cover all kind of questions so i got to know you know even if you do these kind of and you know uh, i got to know one more thing uh, doing 100 question is not the solution doing the right amount of 10 20 questions is the solution so i think that kind of knowledge that we got through this course is is a good thing because you know you keep on doing some of the easy questions some of the hard questions and there's no use of doing that because nobody was going to ask you that so i think that was one of the good thing that happened with the scores and also uh, you know uh, the lld and hld part uh, you uh, on the live you are able to you know discuss it with your mentor uh, you know okay what if i design it in this way and they are very constructive in this also uh, you know uh, there was once a class where i gave an opinion you know what if we use cues in this uh, right. rather than some other thing so even they you know uh, like there was a brainstorming kind of a thing which actually happens in the interview so it gives you an immense confidence you know that uh, yes you can if you can discuss it here then you can definitely discuss it in the interview awesome it's not a very yeah thing yes yeah i think it's it's more like a value addition overall in a holistic yes. environment of how exactly a candidate yes. should perform right so yes that's the pain points we try to emphasize on during the entire curriculum obviously so yeah yes so sumeeda i've heard wonderful wonderful things about you for the curriculum so <laughs> <you> would, <laughs> sure. maybe give us a feedback about the course and you know like maybe in in terms of what you were doing differently before joining the curriculum and how did the perspective changed once you went through the curriculum okay so as i told earlier you know uh, there is ample of amount of data on the internet for uh you know to learn it's not and it's free right but uh if you want consistency and if you want kind of a uh like personally i'm bit of a lazy person that you know i'll re- l- uh, learn for two three days and then i'll skip okay one week i have i make some plans and go out so but with this thing uh, once you you know enroll in a course 
you actually are you know you get a responsibility that you know uh, uh, i have uh, taken this course and i have classes and so i should attend it and i sh should uh, get back to assignments also so i think that was the main struggle that i had and even in future i would say frankly whenever in future i wanted to change some job that i would definitely again go for this course <laughs> because it gives you an immense practice yeah uh, and uh, it gives you a consistency that is the main point right so yeah. i think yeah self policing along with consistency is the key for you know cracking yeah. any job out there yes right yes 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 cool so uh, sumina if you were to you know maybe just give give some stars like we say right the feedback stars hmm. so on a scale of 1 okay. to 10 how many stars would you get about the, would you give the curriculum and the person who is trying to like you know look out for a similar solution so if hmm. let's say somebody wants to join boss coder academy and you if you have any hmm. little tips for those people hmm. you could roll out those things it'll be really cool okay the teachers i would give 10 on 10 all the teachers because they mm -hmm. are really good really good with the ds concepts i wish some day i could be like them <laughs> with <laughs> okay. the, all the concepts and uh, with the curriculum also it's really really great i mean i didn't find any flaw in the entire course so okay. it helped me you know in getting a job which i was thinking you know uh in 3 4 months it didn't took a lot of time uh okay. i started applying even after like you know after 3 months only and i cracked some of the good companies okay. so i think it was great awesome and maybe if if somebody new wants to join the curriculum if you have any mm -hmm. tips for those people it will be really great if you could share them with us sure uh so there's only one tip that i would like to give that you know uh it's uh, not a magic even if you'll join the course you yourself has to do the hard work okay i mean they can just provide you the help the doubt sessions the concepts clearance but uh, if you don't practice then it won't help you okay so, yeah that's that's a wonderful advice and i think you know yes. every every thing which we do in our life requires that hard yes. work from our own end yeah. actually right and then it just like becomes hmm. a practice and a habit to move forward yes. and keep doing it right yes So thank you so much, Sumedha, for your time, and it was lovely speaking sure. to you. And uh, again, Same many here, congratulations sure. on getting into Jubilant Foodworks. I wish you all the best thank in your new role. So yeah, thank, thank you. you. So much. All right, Sumedha. Thank you, Akshat. All right, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Okay.